Good morning. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie and I'm hopping on here just to give you a couple thoughts for today. So as you're tuning in, tell me where you're tuning in from. I am sitting on the floor in my closet, <laughs> part of my room, uh, mainly because our family is getting ready for a move. My house is like destroyed in the fact that there's stuff all over the place and we are getting ready to move. So tell me, where are you tuning in from? Good morning, good morning. And I shook up my ketones. I already drank my water and electrolytes, intermittent fasting. Um, it's going to be a great day. So mainly we are packing today. So I have a couple words for you today that I wanted to share with you. And you might know, you're going to know one word. You might have never heard the other word. So we'll see. But here's what I like to do in the mornings. Give you something to think about. Give you an encouraging word. Help you just give you like a concept, an idea, a thought. Maybe there's something that you're dealing with in your life that you're like, oh, yeah, I needed that. And so something that our family has been uh, working, through, not really working through, we've just had a lot, like we, this, there's two words. One of the words is patience. And so I am believing that somebody on here just needs to hear that you need to be patient. And I, and I say that for so many different reasons. Like our family has been working on potentially buying a home in Florida, what that looks like, the house that we wanted fell through, not on our end, but the house had a ton of damage, what we were going to do with our Minnesota home. And I want you to know something that oftentimes things will pop into your life and it might look good because it's like a quick fix. We had a handful of opportunities that we were like, oh, we could do that. Like, not that we could do that, but we were like, if we would have jumped on the opportunity, to me, it would be like an instant microwave. It would be like the Instagram. It would have quickly fixed a scenario or a something that we were going through, but we didn't have peace about it, right? Oftentimes people say, how do you know when it's the right decision? How do you know when what you're deciding is the right direction? And I said, we have prayed and we have sought out lots of different things. I promise I'll tie this into just your life in general. And I want you to know, uh, we had a lot of opportunities with our home and a home in Florida, but we didn't have peace about all of them. And we've been very patient over the last 60 days. And we just had the most awesome opportunity uh, with some friends and this home. And we have complete peace about it. And the reason is because we were patient. And we didn't jump on the first, like, oh, that's going to give us the most money. Or, oh, that'll fix this quick and we can move forward. Listen, in any area of your life, the way that you know that you're going in the right direction or the way that you know, like, ah, uh, should I do this? Should I not do this? I believe that action is necessary to accomplish anything, right? If you're just sitting and you're oftentimes people will go, well, I'm just going to sit and wait. The, yes, patience and sitting and waiting, listening, but always moving forward. So here's what our family did as we're moving forward, moving to Florida. We started packing. We knew that we prayed about it. We knew that the Lord was directing us to go there. We had an idea. We had zero home, nothing planned with this home. And we started packing as if we knew. We started taking action without a hundred percent. Like we know what we're, where we're going. We just don't have all of the answers. And I want you to think about this. You need patience. You need patience for fat loss. You also need to have an inner peace when you're making decisions. There's faith. There's also like, I know this is the right direction. I don't have all the answers, but I'm going to act as if I know. I'm going to move in that direction. Oftentimes people sit back and don't take any action at all. Nothing until they have the clear picture. Guess what? In life, there's not probably ever going to be a 100% clear picture. You're going to have to have faith. You're going to have to have patience and you're going to have to take action moving in a direction. And as you do, those pictures become more clear. Does this make sense? And so we were just sitting at the table this morning and I was like, oh my goodness, thank you, Lord, that 
you've given us another clear picture. You've directed our family in this next step. Like you've opened up another door. It's because we didn't jump on some of the other potential doors that were opened, although they seemed very enticing, but we waited until we had peace about something. I don't even know if this makes sense to you, but the word patience came to me this morning and it's because we've been very patient and yet still moving. Does that make sense? We've been very patient and still moving and moving at a pace of we're going to be doing something. We just didn't know what it was going to look like. So we're really excited. We've had a great morning. And then also, so the word patience, somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs to have a little bit more patience because I promise you, if you're patient, you wait for the peace, but you're still moving forward because you can still move forward without a clear picture it will come to you. All right. Secondly, have you ever heard of the word mudita? So I learned this word. Uh, I don't, I can't find my stand for my phone. So I'm sorry if it's shaky, I'm holding it. Um, so this word mudita, I heard it from Jay Shetty. He came and spoke at our company's event and he said, there's actually not, not all of you are from the United States. Not, you know, we've got people from all over the world that watch the keto mom page. Thank you. But he said, I want to give you a word that in the United States, he goes, there's not a word that you have that explains this word. So he goes, I want to teach you something called mudita. And what this word means, and this is going to be in our book, and we haven't 100% have it all written yet. So in the mornings, I like to go through books. If you're brand new, welcome. I'd love to get to know you. Post new below. But uh, we're writing a book called Awareness Revolution, and it's helped to give you an awareness in so many different areas. One of the chapters is going to be about mudita. And once you have the word in your mind, and once you have an awareness around this, my hope, I only had to hear this word once and the explanation, and then our kids, and we use it often. And what it means is a pure, true, 100% joy for somebody else when they accomplish something, when they receive something, when something great is going on in their life. And oftentimes I'll say, I'll say things like, um, it's M-U-D-I-T-A, mudita, M-U-D-I-T-A. And oftentimes I'll say, hey, comparison is the thief of joy, right? Uh, it could be selfish ambition. It could be like looking at other people and wanting what they have. Like, all of those things, right? Comparison or it is the thief of joy. And so the opposite of that is mudita, looking at people all around you, family, friends, coworkers. And when something great happens to them, having pure joy, pure mudita for them, because that is so great. And it's rare because we can compare our lives to so many other people's, right? And with anything, food, fat, it could be how somebody looks, it could be their work life, it could be their family. And so when we were taught about this word and Jay Shetty said, hey, I want you to learn how to have pure mudita for people. When you look at people and you see their life just going, you know what, Lord, that is so cool. I'm so happy for them. And when you can do that, so like our girls might say something like, oh, I wish I got that. Or they might you know, it's something we've used in our family since we've learned it. If we, if I say something or my husband or our girls and they say things like, well, why can't we have that? Or I wish that would have happened to us or, or whatever the case may be. We'll go, Hey, mudita. That's all we have to say. Mudita. We'll remind each other because it's important to ch check your heart, right? It's important to go, oh, I'm happy for that person. I'm happy for that person. I'm full of joy not comparing my life, not getting angry or frustrated or wish I had that, but I'm going to celebrate that person. And I just say that because we have to walk through that as well, right? Uh, patience in our life. I'll tell you this, like if you want something, whatever it is, better relationships, better finances, better health, uh, better whatever it is that you're working towards, patience. Don't compare your life to anybody else's. Have pure mudita as you watch other people uh, win. Celebrate them and know that if you are truly, truly, truly seeking what's best for you and your family, you're having patience, you're taking action, you're moving forward, 
your time will come. It has to. Uh, one of the biggest things that we tell our kids is if you're wanting something, let's say, let's say, okay, this is a great example for parents, right? If you want and I had a reality check from our kids the other day. If you want your kids to honor you and if you want your kids to appreciate everything you do for them, give what you want. What you give, you have forever. What does that mean? If you need encouragement, go give encouragement. If you feel like you're not appreciated and you need a thank you, go give somebody else a thank you. Like what you give, it's planting a seed and it's planting a seed. Think about if you don't feel appreciated by somebody, what happens if you appreciated them over and over again? Eventually, they're going to they're gonna be like, you've planted so many seeds, it's going to come out of them. Does this make sense? What you give, you have forever. And what you give will be returned back to you. It's not only biblical, it's a principle. And so you plant seeds, you plant seeds, you are patient, you water those seeds, and you are patient, and you have mudita for other people, and you celebrate them, and then soon enough, it'll be your time in whatever area of your life it is. And you don't just sit back and wait. You take action in that area. This is all kind of vague, but in general, when I learn different things, all it has to, all, all I have to hear is a word and an explanation, and I got it. When we were taught about mudita and the explanation of pure joy, that is a conversation in our home we talk about a lot. Mudita, have mudita. It's not your time. Be patient. You're doing the right steps. Uh, if all we're talking about right now is fat loss and your health journey, be patient. It requires a lot of discipline. Don't get frustrated because your spouse or your coworker or your friend lo lost 10 pounds and you've gained one. Mudita for other people. Patience and also action. Moving action forward. Don't give up. The only way you're going to fail is if you quit. And someday, with patience and your action, people can celebrate you. Mudita. So that was on my heart today. I just wanted to share those little bit of words. Somebody needed to hear that. Either having patience or somebody needed to just have the word mudita planted in their brain, planted in their minds, so that when you see somebody else achieving what you want, you can celebrate them knowing that your time will come. So I want to say thank you for tuning in. Your presence matters. We'll get back. I mean, our book is the book that people have been asking about. Um, it's coming along. A majority of the rest of the chapters we're doing is around parenting. It's around marriage. We're going to talk more on the podcast that um, my husband and I are starting as soon as we get to Florida. So we're going to be starting a podcast called The Happy Couple. We're going to be talking about all areas of life and more of the areas in the book. And so once it's ready, I'll let you know. Really the last chapter I think in the book was going to be about Mudita. And so it takes a lot of editing and a lot of editing and more editing. Hey, thank you for sharing the video. Thank you for tuning in. Your presence matters. Please reach out with questions. You can ask any questions below, anything. Yesterday I did a live in the car, talked about inspiration, motivation, how to stay consistent. Those are the questions that I got in the last live. If you have questions about how to eat low carb or how to eat keto or you need a recipe, go to ketomomsecrets.com, ketomomsecrets, all one word, dot com. Click on how to get started. Recipes, you can send me a message. I will answer them. Uh, we answer all of the questions by the end of the day. So I'm always here to help. Reach out. I hope you guys have a wonderful morning. I'm about to go to the dentist for my six-month cleaning, which I love. It's going to be a great day. All right. We'll talk to you soon.